Hello everyone, welcome to Red Sys Tech, myself Karthik Purnuswami. Today we are going to look at what are input and output functions in Java. So input and output functions are very simple to understand and it is easy to use in our regular programming. So let's say I have a Java program and I want to give some input to the Java program and I want to see the output, right? So this is the some basic functionality what we use in our regular programming, right? So in order to achieve this, how we are able to use the input and output uh, streams, what is already provided by Java, that is what we are going to look into our today's class. So let's get into this. So let's say I have a Java application. So I'm having a Java application, right? So for the Java application, I'm going to give some input, right? So that is the input and I'm seeing the output, right? So the way how we can give input is nothing but a source, right? So, so this is the source. And the way how I'm seeing the output is nothing but destination. Right? So there are multiple ways we can give uh, provide input to the Java application. The one of the way is using the keyboard from the user. And the other way is to do with the help of existing file, right? By using a keyboard, we can give input to the Java application and with the help of existing file also, we can give input to the Java application. Similarly, we can get an output to uh, display in the screen. So on the screen, we can see the output and similarly, we can write it into a file. Right. So the way how we are going to uh, uh, give input to the Java application and the way how we are going to retrieve the output from the Java application is nothing but IO streams. So basically uh, the Java developers at Oracle, they already defined set of classes and methods in order to achieve this functionality. So those classes and methods, we call it as nothing but IO streams. So there is nothing but IO streams. So the, the reason why we call it as streams is nothing but streams are nothing but the sequence of characters, right? So we uh, broadly or, or we usually use, there are three set of uh, IO streams, um, which are nothing but system dot out system dot in System dot error. Okay, so system dot out is nothing but to display to display the output on the screen. System dot in is nothing but to get the input. System dot error is nothing but to display the errors on the screen. So system dot out. So if you see this uh, system, so system is nothing but a class. That is why we call, we define system with uh, S as a capital letter. So system dot out is nothing but to display the output on the screen. System dot in is nothing but to get the input uh, to the Java program. And system dot error is nothing but to display the errors on the screen. So basically all these IO streams are available in Java dot lang package. Okay, so in order to achieve this, so we have to use an efficient way of, uh, you know, uh, getting the input to the Java application and also to retrieve the, uh, the output from the Java application. So let's see um, how input and output uh, streams works. Okay, so I hope you guys understand this concept, right? Let me go into in detail about how uh, the input streams and output streams works. Okay, so Now let's see what is uh, input streams, right? So we can use 
scanner class or we can use buffer reader class okay so as i said earlier so there are multiple ways we can give input to the java program so the one of the way is to use scanner class that is to using keyboard so if my requirement is something that i want to give some input to the java program using my keyboard then i have to use scanner class and if my requirement is something that i have to uh, read something from the file existing file and i want to process it it means like we have to go for buffer reader which is nothing but another uh, class which is to get the input with the help of for both keyboard as well as existing file so here we have to use file reader and here we have will have file class so uh, we have to define the uh, existing file with the help of file class and using the file class we have to get the file reader and using the file reader we have to get the buffer reader using this we can able to read the existing file okay and actually uh, this is um, in the utility util package and this is coming under lang package okay now let's see how the uh, output function works so i said uh, we have a system dot out right so we have system dot out dot print ln similarly we have system dot out dot print you can define whatever you want and system dot out dot print f so if you see here these are the differences so here it is ln is there here print is there here f is there right so these are the three ways where you can use to uh, uh, print the output in our display so basically print ln means it will display in the new lines so multiple lines so let's say if i have system dot out dot print ln of um, let's say welcome and then another line system dot out dot print ln of let's say karthik so it will display like this so first line it will be like welcome and then next line it will be display as a karthik but if you see system dot out dot print of welcome karthik then it will in the same line so welcome karthik so print f system dot out dot print f is nothing but it's similar to c uh, programming where we have to define uh, specify the what type of data we are going to display in our output so basically we have to define percentage yes percentage d to display the double or percentage s to display the string or percentage f to display the float right but these things we don't need to define in case of when we go for print f or sorry print or print ln okay this is the beauty about a sprint and print ln so basically we have separate video where i will be explaining about how to use the scanner class to get the input from the user uh, keyboard and how to process the data and how to get the data from the existing file using buffer reader i have a separate video for that and i'll also have a separate video where i will be explaining about what are the differences between uh, system dot out dot print ln print and print f and also i have a separate video uh, to explain about buffered writer class where i will be reading uh, where i will be writing the output to a file so that is using file writer and i will have a file class so here so here i have a file class where i defined the file path with the file name and then using the file i am going to get the file writer object and using the file writer ob object i am going to use a buffer writer to write a class uh, sorry to write the output right so these are the ways that we can use input and output uh, um, uh, functions in java 
and um, in the in the upcoming videos i am going to explain each and everything in detail with the uh, java programming in eclipse uh, i will see you in the next video guys if you guys like this video please hit the like button and share with your friends and also please post your comments whatever you have regarding this particular video i am more than happy to assist or uh, if you guys have any queries how to use it please post your comments as well i will be more than happy to assist and i will see you in the next video guys thank you bye bye